Hey guys, my name is Donny and welcome back to my workshop. In today's video, we're going to be working on the Messerschmitt and I am planning on doing the upholstery on this car this week. Now guys, I've gone ahead and I've bought everything that I think I might need to do the upholstery on this car and from the bottom I have decided that I'm going to be putting some rubber carpets at the bottom because as it stands now this is going to be an open top car so it might gather some da dust that's why I've decided on that and then I've decided or we have decided to go for this mustardy type of vinyl sheet and then accent it with this beige color just to give this car a very nice happy feel because this is going to be a happy little car and I've also gone and bought the foam for the back and some higher density foam for the bum area and I got this hardboard that's going to be the side panels for this car and I've also gone and bought some of that melamine that's going to be the seats that I need to manufacture for this little car now before I start with all of the upholstery the first thing that I need to do is manufacture a seat for the driver because obviously this car did not come with anything now what I've gone and done is I've bought that 19 millimeter piece of round tube and I'm going to be attempting to bend that tube into a chair or a seat by using this very cheap bending tool that is actually used or supposed to be used on copper piping so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a seat and then we can continue to do the upholstery Hey, hey guys, check it out. This seat just came out so awesome. I love it. That pipe bender really did a much better job than I had hoped for. Uh, I am aware of the fact that the original Messerschmitt's seat pivots forward and backward for ease of access. But I did notice that many people didn't use it to get into the cars because there's enough space to get your feet down there and honestly guys I was just not feeling it today so I decided that this would suffice it is nice and tight in the original rails so if I would ever was to replace this seat with an original one nothing has changed on the car so I can just replace it but I don't think I'll ever have to because it just looks so pretty okay guys so now that I have finished making this seat the next step in upholstering this little car is gonna be making this bottom piece and the rear back piece for the seat out of this chipboard and I'm also going to be using that chipboard to make the rear seat on this little car and after I've done that I can use this hardboard to make the pieces that's going to come on the sides of this car both sides and when I'm done with that I can start covering everything with some foam and some vinyl so let's see how that goes Alrighty guys, time for an update. I have now finished making all of these side panels out of hardboard 
and I have finished making what's going to become the seats out of some chipboard and the next step now is to start covering everything so it's going to start looking pretty now so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some of that foam on these seats and some of this very very thin foam on the side panels underneath where the vinyl is going to come just to give it a little bit of plushness and then I'm going to cover it with vinyl I'm going to do the orange on the bottom and the light vinyl on top the same over there and on this side also and then I'm going to cover it the seats with vinyl as well and I'm going to attempt to do all of this without using the machine so I'm just going to be pulling it over and nailing it to the bottom and gluing it to the back of these panels and I'm going to see if I can do all of that in a couple of hours time so let's see how it goes nice guys check it out upholstery is done or let me rather say 99% done I've just put everything in there temporarily to see what it looks like because I'm still gonna remove some of these side panels to do the extension of the wiring harness and so on but guys I think it came out looking quite pretty um, I like this orangey color it makes the car look happy like I said and that's the feel like a, that I'm looking for but I am glad that I put that white piece over there or that that off-white piece over there and I'm going to be putting that one on top there as soon as I put that strap in because otherwise I think the yellow would have just been a little bit too much 
but guys it is looking pretty and I'm very 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 proud of what my seat came out like and the rubber floor also looks nice and clean and I think it's going to be a breeze to just dust this little car off if um, if we took it for a spin that's what it's going to look like more or less with the top down um, I'm thinking of maybe putting some more vinyl here at the back but that's just something I'm considering and maybe some vinyl there on the or there on the hinge but I'm gonna consider that but guys I think well I'm very happy with the results for this week's effort and this little car is one step closer to being finished and I'm very very excited about that to get this one out and into storage any guys guys I'm so happy that you joined me once again and I hope I will see you next week Cheers!